What's up guys, very little is currently known about the Nintendo Switch 2, but leaks revealed the name and some of the features of the processor that will power the console. The Tegra T239, a custom version of the T234 processor. Thanks to this, it is possible to get a rough idea of how games will actually run on the console. In a new video, Digital Foundry tried to replicate the processor specs with a Dell Vastro 5630 laptop powered by a Core i7 1360p CPU, 16 gigs of 4800 MHz LPDDR5, a 512GB SSD and an RTX 2050 which features the same silicon as the Ampere based RTX 3050 and 3050 Ti, but with a slightly higher CUDA code count over that of the T239 2048 over 1536. With its 64-bit interface is the GPU that offers a memory bandwidth closest to the one that the Nintendo Switch will feature, although the 4GB of VRAM are likely less than the amount of RAM the console will feature. While the Matrix Awakens demo, which was reported to run on the new Nintendo console complete with ray tracing, would run on this system, other titles did, such as Fortnite UE5 with Lumen, Death Stranding, Control, Cyberpunk 2077 and The Plague Tale Requiem. Thanks to DLSS, all games run at above 30 FPS with ray tracing on where applicable at 1080p, and some of them even at 1440 at acceptable performance. As such, Digital Foundry indeed it believes that the Nintendo Switch 2 can definitely bring performance comparable to that of previous generation consoles, also highlighting how Nvidia's upscaling tech, however, will be a crucial component of the new system. Digital Foundry's analysis also takes a deep look at the Nintendo Switch 2's D239 viability for a handheld device and more. You can find this very interesting read in the description. The Nintendo Switch 2 has yet to be officially announced, we'll keep you updated on the console as soon as more coming on it, so stay tuned for all the latest news, subscribe to the channel, thanks for watching, see you in the next one, peace out.